Hello! Now let's get to some more interesting stuff. Today we're going to talk about really what is going to hold all of our devices together and what if we're going to do some kind of a home automation. So the two pieces that we need to look at are MQTT which is you know more specifically Mosquito is the open source version. We're going to talk about how MQTT is basically the Twitter for devices. It's what allows one device to send messages to other devices and each device to react to each other. And then as far as uh, giving us a, an interface to look at first of all so we can see what's going on and we can add some automation that's going to be a program called Home Assistant. So why don't we have a look at what those two do. we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about MQTT and more specifically the Mosquito server. We're going to talk about how it works. The analogy you can use and then the way you can kind of think about it is you can kind of think of it as Twitter for devices. So on Twitter you'd go on there and you'd publish a message and you'd subscribe to other people's messages. And that's exactly what MQTT does. So over here in uh, in this window, what we're going to do is we're going to subscribe to a, to a topic. That's what they call them. And the topic can be anything you, you like. You just basically design it, your topics, so that they make sense, so that you can remember them easily. What we're going to use is Home Sensors LR, LR for living room. That's usually what I use just to keep it short. Uh, you can see I, I have a username and password set up. It's just a temporary one for this video, but I do recommend using them. Even though mine's behind a firewall, you still want to have a username and password. But basically what this command does is it's going to subscribe to this topic. And as you can see, when we do it, nothing seems to happen. That's because nobody's publishing to this topic. What we're going to do is over here, we're going to have this one published to that topic. So the command is mosquito publish topic which matches the one we have over here and that's the message we're going to send. So you can see when I published it it was received over here. And the beauty is anyone that any device that logs into the server can publish to that same topic. And that same message, whatever that one is, will get through. So we can kind of think of this as one device, and this window is another device, and this is yet a third device. And this device here is keeping track of temperatures around the house. Now the, the limit here is you can see that from the topic, we know that because we designed it that way, it's in our home, it's a sensor, and it's in the living room, but we don't really know what the numbers mean. So what, what we would actually do in real life is we would probably have home slash sensor slash temperature, or sorry, home slash sensor slash living room slash temperature, home slash sensor slash pool slash temperature, and then in the living room you could actually have other sensors as well. And whoever Whatever device on the network cared about those values would subscribe to it and they'd watch the values as they come in and, and they'd do whatever they're supposed to do. One example might be this this device right here might be watching all the temperatures because it's a little display module on the wall that shows you the temperature of your living room. And this over here might be the device that's in the living room actually sending it out. And the beauty is you can have one device do more than one thing. You, you can have the same device publish every one of its different sensors to all different uh, topics. And you can have another, that same device also read from other topics and react to them. So you could set up a whole network that 
the sensors around the house cause devices around the house to react to them. And, and it would be quite a wonderful setup. The problem is, anytime you changed anything, you'd have to go and reprogram them. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about next. Once we're once we're through this this section, we're going to talk about a program called Home Assistant. A few different ones, but that's the one we're going to we're going to use in these videos. And Home Assistant is basically a place where you can bring all your data together, so you can look at your data, you you can see what all your sensors are saying, and you can tell Home Assistant to have a certain logic. Temperature hits a certain a certain level in a certain room it might actually respond to that or if it sees movement in a room it could turn on a light in that room and so that way your devices basically all, all they have to do is publish what they know in some logical way and then subscribe to get commands and so as we as we go through this all that will make a lot more sense but basically the combination of this very nice protocol and um, also with Home Assistant things got a lot better. And what you can see over here just just to show one other thing that we can do with with MQTT uh, I can actually send a value to anywhere on the home sensors pool anywhere home sensors And actually, if I bring this window up as well, you can see that it's subscribed to home sensors, sensor slash pound. And what pound is, is a wildcard. And any time a message comes to home slash sensor slash anything, it's going to see it. You can see over here, I said home slash sensor, send the number 32, and it saw it. And up here, when I send it to home slash sensor slash living room, it sees that as well. So that's a, a little neatness that we can actually use. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look at Home Assistant now. So here we have my Home Assistant. You can see it's pretty sparse. In fact, I haven't added anything to it. Right now, the only thing that comes up are the devices that are found automatically on the system. And as you can see, it's found all my Chromecasts. That's about the only thing here. The reason it, the reason it's so empty is because I've uh, I've switched away from OpenHub, so that's all gone, and now I have to build up my Home Assistant. And I figured, why not just do it? All together, we can just do it as a as a community. So a, as we add devices, we'll add them to our home assistant together, and we'll learn how it works. But if you want to see what can happen in the future, here's an example of a, a fully built system. You can see they have a group by room, which is just one of the ways you, you can group it. You can actually there's another menu not shown here where you can pick it out by devices, by lights, or or by decorative lights. So you can see they have their bedroom and their kitchen and all the different things in the living room. The other beautiful thing is you can actually graph histories. It actually keeps track of all the values it gets. So you, if you have outdoor temperatures, you can actually look at the outdoor or the indoor temperatures or light levels. And then the really cool thing is you can have an interface and you can actually draw up a floor plan and have some of the interface show up on the floor plan. In this case, this this one has the lights. It shows that this light is on and all the other ones are off. And uh, it also shows a temperature. So it's actually pretty exciting what it's able to do. And we'll definitely get there soon enough. But uh, the beauty now is now that we have all this out of the way, you can see the links below the video to install these two programs because MQTT is able to be uh, taught to talk to Home Assistant. 
once you get all that out of the way, we can get into our first project. So that video will be out in the next week or so. We'll build our first device, and we'll add it to Home Assistant. It's going to be awesome. Woohoo! So, interesting. Now we get to make stuff. So for our next video, we're going to be looking at a glowing orb. Whatever that is. It's going to be a really cool device. Very simple to make. And it'll be our first piece in the puzzle of automating our home. So hey, see you soon. Oh, and subscribe.